Grand Chief Michael DeLille recently flew out to Calgary to meet with the National Energy Board, along with two major energy companies. The meetings were about the new proposed Trans-Canada Energy East pipeline and the existing Enbridge pipeline reversal called Line 9B. The meetings were about the impact they could have on the environment. We want to ensure that if they're going to be crossing water in any territories that can have an effect in Ganawagi, that they need to be mitigated, they need to be addressed through the imposition of National Energy Board dictates to them to say this is what has to happen or you're not getting the permit in English. So I think we've had that effect with Enbridge and Line 9B. We're hoping to have the same type of effect on TransCanada if in fact if it ever moves forward. Meetings began with Enbridge almost two years ago over Line 9B. The energy company had applied for a line reversal on its current pipeline which is 40 years old to bring crude oil from the west to refineries in Montreal. It was approved by the National Energy Board last year, but with conditions that had to be met before the line could be reversed and oil could flow eastwards. Ganawagi was one of the many groups involved in the consultations that had concerns with the line. Last November, Enbridge was informed by the NEB that it had not dealt with certain safety valve issues or named all the major waterways the pipeline crosses. Earlier in February, those conditions had been met and Enbridge was given the final approval from the NEB for the project. Grand Chief DeLille met with Enbridge officials to make sure that the concerns of Ganawagi are being heard. It seems that NEB has now given them the green light to launch sometime between what they call Q2, uh, quarter two between April and June. So we're looking at sometime this spring for that reversal to happen. The water course activities that were a major concern have been addressed. There are several outstanding ones that will mitigate over the course of the next couple of months. At this point, we're comfortable, I'll say. Not confident uh, completely, but the discussion and dialogue will continue. So uh, again, it was a good meeting. As for the meeting with TransCanada, it was the first face-to-face -face meeting between the energy company and MCK on the proposed Energy East pipeline that would bring oil from the west to refineries in Quebec and New Brunswick. The application was filed last October with the National Energy Board, and has been met with opposition from other groups in Quebec as well. Because it was the first meeting, Grand Chief DeLille says it was about establishing how dialogue would go. He says the template that TransCanada normally uses for negotiating with First Nations is unacceptable, and that the engagement process would have to be on Ganawagi's terms. He says it was made clear on what those terms needed to be focused on. On our issue, it's a, the Energy East pipeline that's a totally new build that will be bringing crude oil from out west to here uh, along the uh, uh, Montreal area and then o over to the eastern seaboard. Um, we obviously have environmental concerns on any type of infrastructure that's built on traditional territory anywhere. The energy company agreed with starting over with the new engagement process. While it was only the beginning of the process, TransCanada's $12 billion Energy East pipeline faces many hurdles before that approval could happen. And that could take years. Things on the south of the border, they have issues everywhere. You know, you mentioned one here in Quebec with translation of legal documents and things, but they got big fish to fry. So it, it's a long way from anything right now, but we wanted to get our foot in the door to ensure they knew what Ganawagi's perspective was. Grand Chief DeLille says the meetings with Enbridge and TransCanada went well, but says the National Energy Board meeting was disappointing. He says the federal energy regulator needs to change its approval process instead of looking at just economics. He says that First Nations across the country need to be consulted and considered. We want them to look at it from a different context. And I think the overall message to all three bodies that we spoke to is that our tie to the land is much different than yours. You talk about it in terms of national interests, so what about our nation's interests across Canada, which don't normally take precedent in terms of how they look at these types of things. Another meeting is being planned for this spring with the National Energy Board. The NEB will be setting up another office in Montreal, and the chair of the board has agreed to meet again to hear the concerns of Ganawagi. As for the Trans-Canada and Enbridge pipelines, Grand Chief DeLille says there are no plans to have them built on Mohawk territory. Lachlan Medill, Mohawk TV.